Okay, let's have some fun using our iPhone to 3D scan this Scooby-Doo into a 3D model using the Kiri engine. All right, so why am I doing this? Well, I have a disagreement with a certain beer company and I have a project in mind. I'm going to take this JetCat P120 engine and I'm going to install it into this LOSI 8 3.0 8 scale buggy. And it's going to look something like this. Albeit it's going to have a lot more modifications than what you see here. It's going to make it look like a dart. And ultimately, it's going to be faster than this, the 2021 C8 Corvette. All right, so let's go. This Scooby-Doo is made from billet aluminum. It was made in a five-axis CNC machining center. Took around three hours to produce this part. And today we're going to use the Kiri engine to make a 3D scan of it. So let's get going. Okay, here we are in the Kiri engine. I hit the plus sign, then I hit scan with LiDAR. And then there, I hit object capture. And this brings up the camera and we see Scooby finally. So what we wanna do is place that dot in the center of Scooby and hit continue. And what this does, it creates a bounding box. Uh, make sure that you, whatever you're scanning is within this box. I'm gonna trim up the bottom to try to have it not scan the duct tape stand that I got going on for Scooby. And I'm moving the camera around to make sure that every Scooby's completely within the box. And then I'll hit start capture. So you can see the software is telling you to move the uh, camera slowly around the object. And what you'll see is uh, kind of a scan of what the uh, camera is seeing in the center and these radio lines coming away from the object. What you wanna do is light those up. So you'll see me as I rotate around Scooby that those things will light up. And if I miss something, I'll go back and try to get it scanned. And you will repeat this all the way around the part. And in this case, I had to do it three times. Uh, they wanted different angles. They wanted a lower angle. They wanted an upper angle. And once everything was scanned done, which I'll fast forward now, you'll have a complete 3D scan of Scooby. Okay, all segments are complete. It's going to take around 10 minutes to process the 3D model. And here we have it. Scooby-Doo is all done, ready to go. Here you can see the real Scooby-Doo with the ghost of Scooby-Doo. Uh, you can see the scaling is a little bit off. That's something that we can fix in a CAD program like SolidWorks or Fusion 360s. But that's it. We're done. We have a 3D model of Scooby-Doo. Great. Thanks for watching. You do you, boo-boo. And I'll see you next time.